did did Usher ever say why couldn't you release um, uh, just a friend? It was he must have been because it was a Mara's massive hit for him. Did Usher not be upset that he didn't get to release it? No, I, I don't. I mean, he never expressed that to me. But you know, uh, we, I don't think we ever really talked about it in depth. But I I feel like you know he had enough hits on his. He, I don't <laughs> think he was. It just didn't seem like he was that worried about that. You know, he didn't okay. need that song. He had so many amazing songs and hits. I, I think, you know, you know, this is a young kid that's 16. Like, I think he was more of a mindset like, man, let the little kid live. <laughs> yeah, like, no. I, I, I'm not sure. I'm good. <laughs> you know what I mean? That, that Luther album, um, it was such an amazing comeback. Uh, really yeah. brought him to a, an audience who had, who who kind of forgot about him. What was it like working with one of the greatest male singers that ever? I mean, he has a voice that you are so recognizable, but it just feels like it's honey. What was that like just working with the legend of Luther? In full transparency, <laughs> I don't, I don't know, because when it came time for me to go to the studio and work with him, I didn't go to the session. I wasn't there. The session was in Connecticut, and I lived in LA. What I did do, I spoke with him on the phone. Okay. And he told me the changes, uh, told us the changes he wanted to make in the song. And then I gave the phone to Harold. He tells Harold the changes he wants to make in the lyrics. We make the changes, and I'm back. But he also says we want you to come to my house in Connecticut, and we're gonna. I want you to stay here at my house. And I'm like, I don't, wanna, I don't wanna do that. I'm not coming to you. I don't know. I don't know this guy from a can of paint. I just wasn't comfortable with that. So I'm like, I don't want to go to New York, then go to the session and leave his house and like, yeah, I'm staying somewhere else. When he's invited me to stay in his home, you know, wow. I didn't want to insult him like that. So I just didn't show up. So uh, or I think Ron Gilliard, either Ron Gilliard went to the session, who was, uh, he was like the head of black music at, J Records or it was Ron Gilliard and then when I finally heard the song is um Larry Jackson okay. uh flew out to LA and played me the song, played me, you know, played me the the vocal. And I was like, oh, this is great. And then I met Luther after after that. Okay. I met him and after the song was doing well. I I had never up to that point, I had never really listened to Luther Bandros. I never been to a show. I wasn't like a Luther fan. Okay. As a matter of fact, when Clyde Davis, when I played him a song, Clyde Davis said, This is great for Luther. I said, Who's Luther? <laughs> he looked at me like I was crazy. I was like, Luther, who's that? Because I'm thinking he's I'm thinking he's talking about somebody like some young kid or something. Okay, I'm not thinking yeah, yeah. he's talking about I obviously know who Luther Bandos is, yeah, but yeah. I didn't think that's who he was talking about. <laughs> He was like, Luther Vandross. I was like, Luther Vandross. I was like, wow, I haven't heard that name so long, you know. <laughs> and he said, no, well, we're doing it. If you want to be a part of it, you better come on because this is going to be a big deal. Yeah. I said, all right. Well, yeah, fine. You know. When I met him and I was able to take my mother to go to his concert, oh, that's, that's when I knew. <laughs> the way my mother was acting, oh, my God. <laughs> Did, did he get upset that you didn't come? Did he? Did it, was that just that you didn't come around? No, I don't think I don't think he cared that much. I mean, it ain't like he needed me to be there. Like what, he's Luther. What am I gonna tell him? <laughs> yeah. He knows how to sing. You know, it's stuff. I would have been there, but I would have been there just watching him sing, which would have been fine. But I also did not know he would pass away, and I'd never be able to get a chance to do that again. You know. Yeah. And so, I, if I'm. Uh, you know, now in my age, now yeah, I do that. I stay at his house. I eat his chicken. <laughs> eat his, but you, 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 because when you do the Mary album and 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 now you have got your own label, do do you not think about getting more groups and and developing your own? But because it looks as if everyone's pulling you to do big stuff with your own. Did how did that yeah. affect your own company and 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 your work? Yeah, I, I did see where I I wanted to do that, but I also wasn't as focused on it because I love producing so much. I, I wanted to be a guy who was being called on by people. 
Like, I'm working with this artist and this label and that label. I'm like, so focusing on my label and, you know, doing that wasn't the big priority at the time, which maybe it should have been, but I didn't have the foresight to see that then until a little later in my career, um, which, you know, it's, it's, you know, nothing lost. I just, it just wasn't my time to do that during that time. Um, and then plus when I asked Clyde Davis for a label deal, he told me no, because he felt like I needed more artists. You need multiple artists. You only have, at the time I had Mary Mary, who was already at Columbia, and I was giving him uh, my sister. Uh, mm -hmm. I brought, he wanted to sign her, and he did, he signed her, but he wouldn't give me an actual label deal. So I went to see Sylvia Rome. She said, yeah, I'll give you a label deal. <laughs> so I went up there. Okay. So that's when I started really thinking about myself as a label owner and the president and all that kind of stuff, you know. Yeah. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for being a part of Halftime Chat. Please remember to subscribe, share, and comment. But most importantly, why don't you become a member of Halftime Chat? We've got amazing videos, amazing perks, and um, being able to support the channel. But anyway, thanks for watching. Take care. I never participated in that category. I am somewhere in between. For well, even loving us on which I did miss you. Um, yeah. Yeah. What was it like growing up? It is if she was still making an impact on four houses down. I am not, I have a good pieces. I didn't get this one and that one. But that works for me, but just for me, I could have. Oh, I probably gave it. No, 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 okay, you're okay. They don't understand what Joe's boys are winning all spirits. Lay it. I mean, I was, I, I love, I love all different jobs.